Wagwan beautiful people, welcome to yet another video. I hope you guys are feeling good. I am glad to be back with another video. We have just qualified for the quarterfinals and this is a good feeling. I know I said it would be nice that if we won, this would definitely boost on not only the players, not only the fans, but also the administration's feelings. I mean, all of us are definitely feeling elated. This is the best news that we could have this is the best news we could have gotten this week. I mean, of course, with all the, everything going on, the deadline has been set for Friday with the Saudis set to make the bid on that day. Now, that is according to the latest news in terms of who is looking to be the next owner. On Friday is also when we have the quarterfinal draw and we get to know who we are facing. Some clubs have been kicked out, the likes of PSG, Villarreal just kicked out Juventus and there's been an interesting series of results. According to how they have been going, I have been shocked by some of them, but for me, this is the most important one. We won. I was quite close with my score prediction, but the most important thing is that we have been able to qualify for the quarterfinals. So this is great. This is amazing. I would not have had it go. Despite the fact that we are away, we capitalized on this. Yes, we considered a goal, but at the end of the day, we still, we still rose we still rose on top of it and we won the game so this will this will be my review if you enjoyed the content consider subscribing and like the video in terms of starting 11 this time we had a very new formation we had a 3-5-2 formation now it was clear in this game we definitely wanted to gain more we definitely wanted to gain more goals at the same time consider as less goals as possible at the same time maintain the same amount of defense to make sure that we are able to maintain the same amount of momentum from the beginning of the game throughout the game there's for a second there almost had a goal i mean that that 70th minute opportunity for lil that hit the goal post that was a very scary moment and for a second there it, it was almost equalized i mean of course the penalty put them forward but pulisic equalized with a very phenomenal goal almost while we were almost going for half time and Aspilicueta as our captain stepped up at the right time. I mean, what more do you need from your players? What more do you need from your coach? This was the most, this, this game was just perfect. I mean, I said the way the players are playing is really um, keeping the fans in high spirits, in, um, in high hopes, at least if everything else is not going so well, this is going well for us. So in terms of this game, I have to say I am satisfied. So in terms of starting level, we have we had Mendy in goal, then we had in terms of the back three, Rudiger, Thiago Silva and Christensen. Then in terms of the midfield, we had Marcus Alonso, we had Jorginho, Kovacic and Kante. Then also had um, Aspi Loqueta. Then in terms of the front two, we had um, Christian Pulisic, then we had Kai Havertz. In terms of the first half, for the major part of it, I was a bit distracted but I was listening and I have to say, it was interesting according to what i was hearing in terms of possession at least we were comfortable in terms of possession in terms of how, with how we started the game we had some nice opportunities that i feel like if we worked a bit harder would have been able to convert into goals then of course we had a few fouls but then the moment that it all stopped i think around the 30th minute something minutes there was that handball by Jorginho. Jorginho, why <laughs> guys i was i was it was bad it was bad yeah but then again it was not an intentional handball i have to say so i'll let him escape with that so in terms of Jorginho, he gave out the handball then lil were able to get their first goal now we were having an aggregate of 2-1 okay. this was becoming a bit scary because all they needed is a goal and having an advantage moving forward they will definitely be feeling more confident and they will be attacking more um trying to you know win the game so in terms of the game as it moved forward of course chelsea had to step up and that is what we did now before, just before the second half just before the second half we had some few attempts so few attempts that i feel could have been converted but i am so happy that in the 46 minutes christian pulisic stepped up i mean to just scored that goal at a very tight space i mean christian pulisic these days has been stepping up when he's called upon with goals i mean with assists he has just been performing well so he gives us the third goal i mean in terms of aggregate gives us the confidence coming to the second half we definitely been will definitely be trying as much as possible because as i said this win will definitely be crucial in terms of lifting the spirits of the players the spirits of the 
fans especially who are very down at the moment so coming to the second half who are a bit more confident I mean having an aggregate of 3-1 will definitely boost the confidence of the players it will definitely give us a higher chance of qualifying to the quarterfinals and this is what happened now as we progress forward some more attempts some few free kicks some few corner kicks but the 70th minute when Lille almost added another goal on top of the penalty they wanted to add a cherry on top and you know keep the threat going keep the momentum of the game going keep the entertainment going <laughs> the 17th minute was very crucial and I think this is where I realized oh we really have to step up we have to add another goal so that we are more comfortable in case this team scores another goal we will still have another goal advantage to our to ourselves we will still have an, an added goal so that the pressure will be a bit less this time round. In terms of 70th minute, a great attempt I think from Yilmaz of Lille. The ball hits the goalpost and Mendy, Mendy I don't think would have been able to catch that ball if it was heading for the net. That would have been uh, almost Rudiger type of goal, you know, that he hit it with his back and it was a close one but luckily for us it was not a goal. Then, 70 some, 70, two minutes later, two, one, one and a half, two minutes later, Aspilicueta with the assist I think from Pulisic or Mason Mount. I have forgotten the assist for, <laughs> for this game but in terms of the goal, Aspilicueta, our captain, stepped up and he was able to give us a goal. This goal ensure that we were able to win with the 2-1 win against Lille and it has us qualifying to the quarterfinal. On Friday, we have the draw where we will be finding out who we'll be facing. Now Juventus has been kicked out, PSG has been kicked out, Man United has been kicked out as I mentioned earlier in the video. As for my score prediction, I predicted a 3-0 win. I thought we'd be able to maintain a clean sheet but I'll take the one goal uh, that we considered tonight. I mean, yeah, it's fine. I will not, it's not too bad. I now get a 4 1. So, moving forward, yes, we'll be still being underestimated. Hopefully, we can be able to create a replica of last year. I mean, it's never, you, you never know, you never know, especially with everything happening. Um, hopefully, the sanctions and the buying of the club does not in any way affect how the club moves forward in terms of how we play our games and we're able to play well to the fullest so that is my video that's my review i really hope you enjoy the content if you do if you did please make sure you give the video a big thumbs up <laughs> share it with your family and friends please subscribe i'll be seeing you in my next video